Okay guys, here we are at the house on La Linda Court. And you're at the end of this kind of cul-de-sac here, so you can see there's a little roundabout and you're the house at the top of that. The neighborhood itself is a good location in terms of shopping for the grocery stores and everything like that are close by. And then when you turn into the neighborhood from the main street, you are a couple streets back if that makes sense. So you're not right off that turn by any means. The house has a wood exterior and we'll go inside. It's a tri-level. We're just at 1650 about square feet. So good size. You can see they've done a really cute job with the landscaping. The garage doors look in good shape. Everything like that. So you can see this parking slab. You have the two covered parking spots with the garage, but then you could have fit a couple more cars out here also. head on inside okay so right when we walk in the front door we can have the open concept kitchen and living space you have really pretty vinyl plank flooring the tone of it is really pretty in my opinion um off to the right here you can see the living space dining area all that so if you have bigger furniture or um smaller i guess there's a lot of ways you could configure just because the way it's laid out so that's really nice. You have a wood burning fireplace right there. Let me turn the, these lights on, there we go. But the energy source is natural gas. So that's always nice for cooking and everything like that. We're on sewer and public water. In the kitchen, you have the granite countertops. And then these appliances are conveying, as well as a washer dryer, which I'm sure we'll see as we walk further into the house. Kind of cool how they have the granite window sills as well. And that backyard looks really gorgeous. We'll go out there. The appliances, all that stainless steel. And then another angle, you can see the ceiling kind of comes to a point right there and a lot of cabinetry also let me open a couple of these for you so this to me looks more like a pantry sort of set up off to the side here and then you have all the additional cabinets and drawers And then we are having the upstairs and downstairs off to the left when you walk in. We'll head on up. So you can see it switches to carpet right here. We'll go to the first bedroom right on the left-hand side here. Really cute. Not a huge size, but you can see they have a couple furniture pieces in here. And by no means does it feel crammed. Here's a look at the closet. Looks like you could have those sliding doors. They're not in place right now, but. And then we'll go to this one here. And the listing I believe said that these are the custom bunk beds. So that is really cool. If you have kids or something, this is a super fun space. And you can see there's a little spot for a desk underneath. And it's sleeping three. So that's awesome. And then again, same thing with that closet. Great way to utilize the space in this room. Linen closet, so you can access up there. The access point and then the ceramic tile going into this bathroom. Really pretty countertop here, cute little vanity. And then you have some kind of cohesive with the flooring with this ceramic right here in the tub shower and a fiberglass tub. And then we will head into the master suite. So 
So with the house being at that 1650 mark, by no means would I say any of these bedrooms are massive, but you can see the master has a lot more um, closet space in it. You have that double sided and then you could definitely fit a bigger bed in here. They have a nightstand on either side currently and there's still more wall space. This goes out into the backyard. And then the master has its own bathroom, which is always great. So a little vanity, again, super cute. And then a walk-in shower. Love that. Um, I'm not sure if it's granite, but that's super pretty. It's a really pretty shower. So let's walk down onto that bottom level. Um, there is forced air, so you can see where some of the heating is going to be on the floor there. And we'll walk on down. Okay, and to point out, the granite on the windowsill is something that they have going on at each of the windows on this main level. So you can see over there by the breakfast nook. And then behind the couch here as well. So that's a pretty detail. We go down to the bottom floor. On the right hand side here is a coat closet, which is straight across from that front door. And then another little change in the flooring when we reach the bottom level here. And then just a great open space for entertaining or gaming room or anything like that. Another wood burning stove right here. So see they utilized it as an office space. Over there, music area, there's plenty of room. And then off to the right here, we have some storage under the stairway. And it looks like the door was removed on that one. And then we have the laundry room. Nice size. You could always put a little changing or folding table um, over top of that to fold the clothes on and kind of create a little cubby for them is always cute. And then there's a bathroom down here, which is nice. Very similar to the upstairs ones, just no shower or anything. And then we'll step out into the garage space. So they're of course storing some stuff in here right now. We can see the water heater, electric panel over in the corner there. This is that two car garage. And we'll finish out in the backyard here, which is kind of the star of the show, in my opinion. It's so beautiful out here. There's tons of space for entertaining. Of course, right now we're under this covered patio, which is really beautiful. They do all their grilling and stuff out here. You can see they can fit quite a bit of seating also, which is nice with the weather we've been having to have that covered space. We'll walk over to this side. The outbuildings are staying as per the listing. So you have some extra storage out here. We'll walk down on this side before we go over to that fire pit area. They store the wood here and then that fence heads out to that front spot where the parking is. This yard feels so big. Um, I don't know if I said we're just at 8,300, just under 8,300 square feet for the yard. But I feel like they utilize the layout so well. You have this really fun spot over here. The fire pit. And then again, really smart how they are storing the wood there. And it goes over into that corner.
then a better look at the back of the house also. Okay, so I just left that kind of roundabout and this is the, some of the other houses in the neighborhood. I wanted to make sure I caught a little bit of that. You can see some people have some maybe RVs and sort of the campers and such parked in their yards, but overall, um, you get a sense of pride of ownership. You can see it's kind of fun to have different style homes throughout. 